Hello everybody, we are close to the end of this semester, we are close to the end of this class, and so we only have a few more things to deal with, and normal distribution is one of those few things we have to deal with. And so here, we're going to call this normal distribution part one, because this part is kind of like what you need to kind of get an idea of what's going on so you can do the normal distribution itself. So normal distribution part one is what we're going to do now, and then we're going to do part two later on. Right, so the first thing um, goes back to something that you've learned like in middle school type thing. Uh, and I don't think you've done it in high school yet for a while. So here it's going to be stem and leaf plot. Yay! Woo! Remember that stuff? So here's an example. and We're going to go ahead and go through that and we're going to look at how to do a stem and leaf plot. So here's example one. And we're going to create a stem and leaf plot using these numbers here. So it's not many numbers there, not compared to what we've been doing. So again, write these down, and then we're going to go ahead and work through it. All right, so the first thing, the word stem. That just deals with like the first number of the, the, the first number of the two or the three or whatever. So it's the first number. So that means like three, one, two, one, two, two, one, four, sorry, one, like four down here, but one, three, three, five, four, three, five, uh, five. Because remember, it's the first number. That's the stem. First number. All right, so then the next part is the leaf. And that's the second number or numbers that are back there. Or you can just say whatever's left over. <laughs> yeah. So whatever's left over is really the leaf. So when we do our stem and leaf plot, we're going to deal with just those things. But also with our stem and leaf plot, we always have to have it in numerical order. So with these, we're going to start off with our um, lowest numbers and then go up. And here, if it's a single digit, we will put zero in. But since none of these are um, single digits, we don't put a zero for this one. So we're just going to go ahead and use um, the numbers that we have here. And when we do our stem and leaf plot, we always call this the stem. We always label this leaf. And with that, it's important that you do that. So that way you understand what's going on. And I also know that you understand what you're doing. All right, so the first thing to deal with is we're going to in numerical order. So that means, and let me write this down. So it must be done in numerical order. So here, whenever we start dealing with these numbers, going here, they must be in numerical order. It can't just be random. Okay, so if we look at it, we're talking about our stems. So we're talking about, first off, the lowest ones, which are pretty much the ones. So here, we'll start with the ones here. And with those, those are the only ones that we have. So 16, 16, and 14 are the only ones that start off. I'm oh, sorry, forgot that last 16 right here. That one there, too. So those are the only ones that we have. So that means when we write this, the stem is going to be 1. And then the leaf is just going to be those numbers that are left over. So that, that 4, that 6, the 6, and the 6. So with that, it's important that we do that in numerical order, though. So that means we can't just do 6, 6, 4, 6, or we can't do 6, 4, 4, 6, 4, 6, 6, or something like that. It has to be in numerical order. So here we're going to do 4 first, then 6, then 6, then another 6. Oh. And guys... I, I forgot I did that last semester or last year, so um, there's no no scary numbers. Also, don't use a comma here. I don't know why I did that. Don't don't worry about a comma. We don't need commas there. No commas. No commas. All right. So then the next thing is going to our twos. So let me change the color here to 
with, so our twos, we have one here, one here, one here, and I think that's all the rest of the twos. Um, yep, that's all the twos. So again, we put a two right here. That's our stem. Then our leaf are the no other numbers. So here that's three, four, four. So, so far not hard. This is easy. We can do this. We got this. Just got to remember how to do it. All right, so then we go to three. That's the next number in the sequence in numerical numbers, numerical order. We have threes here. So that's all the threes. So we have three, three, five, and four. So here when we do our threes, we do a numerical order. We have a three and a three. There's a five and a four, so we put the four first, and then five. So we have to be in numerical order the whole time, the whole time. Can't forget that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at four. I hope everybody's seeing what's going on here, because the first number is the stem, and then the second number is the actual whatever's left over. The leaf. All right, so the fours, we have a four here, we have a four here. So when it comes to our stem here of fours, we start off with two and then we go to five. So we have two and we have five. Okay, so not bad. And then we just have the last one here. And let me do this in black, I guess. So these are the fives. As you notice here, I ran out of space, so I need to continue this going down here. Okay, and so now we just go ahead and put those in, and then we're done. That's five and six, and that's it for that part. Now, the only other part that you need to make sure that you have, you must have, is a key. Now, the key tells us like what these numbers mean, because these numbers could be like a one and a four. That could be a hundred and four. This could be a hundred, uh, two hundred, three, or this could be um, one thousand four or one thousand six. It could be any of those things. So you need to make sure you have a key to make sure that it's done correctly. So here, I'm going to make a key off this side, and you select the color green. And here, we're going to do a one, a big line, then four. So it kind of looks like this one, this line, and this four. So that's what we just did here. And then we're going to make sure we at equals 14. Because what's going to happen is they're going to look at the key. They're going to look at this and not know what the original numbers were up here. So you have to make the key so that they will understand and I will understand what's going on or other people might understand. But again, you must have a key. That's it. That's the mini. That's the mini flop.